Star Entertainment has been found unfit to hold its casino licences in Queensland. Here's Adam Walters. Fellow in charge of the inquiry, Robert Goddison, King's Counsel, found that the conduct of the Star Entertainment Group was manifest of, quote, a one-eyed focus on money and profit. Now, the Attorney-General here in Queensland, Shannon Fentiman, said there were many reasons why the Star Entertainment Group has been found unsuitable to hold a casino licence, and she gave this disturbing example. Mr Goddison found, amongst other things, that regarding the use of China Union Pay debit and credit cards, in which Star characterised the transactions as relating to hotels, their primary use was, in fact, gambling, and the Star was, quote, insufficiently transparent with the regulator. And they made a concerted effort to obscure the purpose of these transactions and deliberately misled, again, the regulator and their own banker. In another case of scurrilous behaviour identified by the inquiry, the Star Entertainment Group was found to be encouraging those individuals who had been excluded from gambling in New South Wales and Victoria by the respective police commissioners of those states to come to Queensland to try their luck. Now, Shannon Fentiman says the process of losing a casino licence is not straightforward. This is what she had to say. Once that show cause notice is issued, which I expect will take a couple of weeks, Star will have 21 days in which to respond. Then there is a range of options available to government around what happens. That can range from uh, directions to censures to fines to potentially suspension or cancellation of a casino licence. This is pretty sticky for the Queensland Government. The range of options to which the Attorney-General just referred include the possibility of the Government having to find a new partner in the multi-million dollar project known as the Queen's Wharf Development.